going to start with Mitch Ishmael with Active Energy Systems. Mitch. Did you know Chicago has one of the largest ice energy storage systems in the whole world? No? All right. Well, you're about to learn. Here is a map of Chicago and the district cooling network and the ice energy storage systems within it. This system cools over 100 buildings in downtown Chicago. That's over 45 million square feet of floor space. The idea is every night during off-peak hours when energy costs are low, ice is made so that during the day when cooling costs are high, you can use ice to provide cooling for the building. And in fact, over 17,000 tons of ice is made at night. So right now, they're working on making ice. Here's where we are, the Gleacher Center, just for context. Baltimore Air Coil Company made the ice energy storage systems that are part of this district cooling network. They're a global leader in cooling technology. And they're interested in partnering with us, Active Energy, because we have technology that can change ice energy storage. Hi, I'm Mitchell Ishmael. I co-founded Active Energy Systems. We're working on a technology for ice energy storage. It, can, it has the potential to increase the heat transfer rate, the ability to freeze and melt ice by over six times, which allows you to make an ice energy storage system that's smaller footprint, lower cost, and superior performance. All ice energy storage systems today use the same basic technology. It's called ice on coil, and the name pretty much describes it. Ice freezes on the cooling coil radially outwards. Problem is, ice is an insulator. It's bad at conducting thermal energy. So for each extra layer, it makes it that much harder to form the next one. Ideally, you would like to limit the amount of ice on the heat exchanger surface. That's the approach we've taken at Active Energy Systems, where we're continuously removing ice from the surface, keeping the heat transfer surface pristine so that we can achieve those six times higher rate of heat transfer. We've built a proof of concept system in our laboratory, which there you see on your left, where water is simultaneously freezing and moving. No sticking. That's what's so important. And we've scaled it up to a prototype system that's processing a liter, of, a liter per minute of water, which you see here. And our next step is to build an MVP, which can process 10 liters per minute of water. And that's about the threshold of commercial scalability. I co-founded the company with Levon Toyn after graduating from Cornell, me with my PhD in material science, his with his PhD in electrical engineering. We snapped Grady Iliff up from Virginia Tech uh, for his expertise in anti-icing surfaces. To round out our technical expertise, we filled our advisory board with entrepreneurs, business folks, salespeople. Lee Kessler, for instance, in his previous role as uh, senior vice president of sales, grew revenue at his company from 50 to $500 million. And we're excited to start collaborating with Baltimore Air Coil Company. We think with our advanced technology and know-how and their product integration expertise and international sales channels, we can change the face of ice energy storage. So over the next year, we're going to continue leveraging our relationship with Oak Ridge National Lab through the Innovation Crossroads program. Right now, we're validating and improving our isophobic heat exchanger's performance so that we can build that MVP that I talked about, which we'll test at a commercial facility so that we can begin initial production at the end of next year. What I'm looking for is introductions to those within the cooling technology space to help us scale up our isophobic heat exchanger and revolutionize energy storage. Thank you very much. <laughs>